Hey guys, today we're going to talk about how to avoid rusting out your brain, okay? So I was reading this uh, UCLA study on the iron accumulation connection to Alzheimer's patients. Very fascinating. I'm going to put a link down below. And that makes sense because we know too much iron in the body is very dangerous to the mitochondria, to the cells, creates a lot of damage, it can lead to cancer. So when you combine free iron with oxygen, you form a very powerful free radical that can damage the fat layer uh, that surrounds the nervous system, the myelin, and it can just break that down. In the body, you want all the iron to be formed with a protein. Like in your blood, for example, you have it connected with um, a protein, but we don't want it being free. We don't want to use too much or else it can create a lot of problems. So iron can then uh, destroy certain parts of the brain, specifically the hippocampus, which then can lead to dementia. But it's really the accumulation of iron and having free iron in the body that creates the problem. So then my question is, where are we getting this excess iron? Two places. One is supplementation. Some of the top main vitamin companies use the wrong type of iron in their ingredients, okay? So I'm not going to mention names, but I'm sure you can figure it out. In fact, why don't you comment below and tell me what you think, okay? But it's the type of vitamins that you would get from GNC or the drugstore. They're not food-based, okay? And you pick up the bottle and they're really heavy because they have a ton of calcium carbonate and they have metals and they have synthetic vitamins. Very cheap to make, but they are loaded with the wrong type of iron, okay? So if you're going to buy a supplement, just make sure it's food-based. If your parents are buying supplements or your grandparents, look in their cupboard and make sure it comes from actual food. Just read the in ingredients and see what it's made from. If it doesn't have food in there, just replace it with some higher quality supplement. Number two, the fortification of foods, primarily grains, the enriching with the synthetic B vitamins and the iron. That's how people are becoming exposed. So, of course, if you're doing healthy keto, you're not going to be consuming grains, so you have nothing to worry about. But, you know, your parents, your grandparents uh, could unknowingly be consuming excess iron from the fortification of foods. So check out the link below. And if you do have problems with Alzheimer's, okay, or dementia, and you find you have accumulation of iron in the body, the question is, how do you get it out? I would recommend taking something um, like a chelator which basically naturally combines with iron and pulls it out safely. The best natural chelator is phytic acid in the form of IP6, okay? You can get this from the health store. I don't have any brand names. Just look up IP6, and this is what you'd want to take to help neutralize iron, get it out of the body safely, so we can actually protect ourselves against excess iron. Thanks for watching. So we've been getting a lot of success stories, but I don't have your success story yet. So click the link down below and upload your before and after. I want to actually hear about your success story. I want to see your before and afters. And every week we do featured success stories. So click the link down below and share your success.